Hey guys, sorry for the weird angle here. I know it's really weird. Just doing a quick update. I've uh, got th four titles, three DVDs and one Blu-ray. Just go through them quickly. Don't waste any time. I recorded this and um, I couldn't upload it for some reason. Um, I won't get into too much detail. The first one though, um, the Blu-ray, um, I've been meaning to see this for ages. Um, I've got a $5 and... Um, what I promise this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy. It's just the Blu-ray because I bought it from my work. I work at a video store, if you guys don't know that. Um, it wasn't as an ex-rental. We didn't have any as ex-rentals. But um, we had three for rental on Blu-ray. And we had about 10 or 15 for DVD for rental. And I asked my boss, Oh, um, would you mind if I um, you know, use, grab one of the rentals and change the ex-rental for myself? And she's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Five bucks, you know. And five bucks for Blu-ray is great. Um, over here in Australia, I don't know about America, because I know that, you know, new releases sometimes are five, six dollars, sorry about that, and it's like, oh my god, that's like amazing, but over here they're really expensive, so when you can find a Blu-ray about around ten dollars, it's awesome, but on um, the one that I've got is Wee Water Zoo, sorry for the back to front for you guys, I always seem to use photo booth, it shrinks the folder for some reason, or file, really did like this one, I've seen it twice now, um, so you de definitely check that out if you get the chance. Um, this one I picked up, I used to own, um, I sold it off, but um, I bought it for $2. I've been really getting into Vince Vaughn, um, he's really, really, you know, um, getting a lot of good books. Like, I have three favourite male actors, um, if you don't know who they are, they're Jimmy Bennett, um, you know, it's Kevin Durant, Jason Bateman, they're my three favourite actors, but I can really see myself having Vince Vaughn in my favourite actors. I have a lot of favourite actresses, I have about six or seven, but um, not very many favourite actors. I don't think there's very many good male actors out there. Um, but it's Dodgeball, um, got it for $2.00. I don't really like Ben Stiller. I've never have liked him. I mean, the, I bought the watch a little while back, as most of you know, for 15 bucks, brand new. Um, I don't really like Ben Stiller. I, I've never really liked him. He's one of those actors, like, he gets annoying after a while. You don't really want to watch all these films. But Vince Vaughn, he's a really good actor. He always does something different. And it's good to see these guys are always pairing up together. You know, the watch, this. Um, ben Stiller is... Funny in some roles, but he's really fucking annoying in some. Like, in The Watch, I found him quite annoying um, to watch. In this, he was bearable, I must say. In this one, he was actually pretty right. He did suit the role for this. But in The Watch, he was like, mm, you know, kind of annoying. Um, this I picked up second half for two bucks. I'm, I'm going to get a new cover. The cover's a bit banged up. But it's for Control. Um, Michelle Rodriguez is in this. My favorite actress, I have... All of her films now, except probably one or two, but they were short films. They weren't produced on DVD or anything, so I've got to try and find them online. But um, this is the last one I needed, and I've been trying to find it. I couldn't find it anywhere in uh, the stores like JB Hi-Fi, Big W, or Target, or Kmart. I couldn't find it in any of the stores over here in Australia. But um, I think I went out of print, and I found this for $2 as a second secondhand store. Still haven't watched this, obviously, because I bought it today. But I'm um, also this Radio, and Ray, Radio to also could probably go on one in my favorite actors list. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know who Ray Liotta is, he's the one down in the middle here. Um, he's also that one. He's in a lot, a lot of things. Um, he was in the new one, Killing Him Softly with Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's another actor I can't stand. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, you don't have very good taste in actors if you don't like Ben Stiller and, you know, um, Brad Pitt. I've never really liked Brad Pitt that much. He was never one that I really got into, like, fair act or anything, I, I think Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Burn After Reading are probably the only films I can stand to me, and I mean, in Killing Him Softly, he did a pretty right job, I can say, he did a pretty outstanding job, um, but most of his films, probably 90% of his films that he's been in are not, it's not the films that I don't like, it's the way he acts, I'm like, Moneyball was pretty good, decent for him to act in but you could sort of tell he's getting too old he needs he needs to sort of settle down the roles he's choosing are not ones that are suited for him burn after reading as i said is one of my favorite films i'm not going to babble on about it. i have in one of my videos before probably going to do a rant about all this stuff but on the last thing i got um, i've been trying to find a fridge my work was selling an ex-rental copy for eight ninety five, but I have fifty percent off, so I went for four dollars fifty, and I've tried to look for it for ages because we still said we still had one in. Um, but one of my work colleagues, he put it in a drawer, not telling me, even though I said I'm trying to find it. 
but it's never back down to um, really enjoyed the first one I, I'm not going to buy the first one on DVD it wasn't that enjoyable now but when I first watched it back in 2008 I think it was a brilliant film this one was made in 2011 um, as I said in the start of the video I could have used to uh, um, one of our regular customers, Simon, he came in to our work uh, to hire some movies and uh, I got talking to him and he sort of recommended some movies to me, like five weeks to hire, because we do like all deals, but I get free hire because I work there. And he said, oh, you should hire these ones. He gave me out like, five or six different weekly movies. I said, yeah, I'll definitely check them out. They're all different ones. Um, and for some reason, I never saw the sequel to this because I never thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be a big pile of shit, you know. But I was really wrong about it. I think this one, I think this one is actually a bit better than the first one. First one was great, don't get me wrong, but I think this one is is topped, is topping the first one by a lot. Um, this one is directed by Michael J. White, the guy in the middle, and he also acts in it. Um, but this is a really good film. Um, it sort of continues on with um, the kids' characters from from the first one. Um, I can't remember. Ooh, I can't remember exactly what his name was. It's the kid with the glasses. Um, there. It sort of continues on from his character in college, um, but it is really good. I, um, I've been trying to find it, and I found it today for $6, so I definitely had to pick that up. Um, it's just a quick update. That was the only things I got. There you are. Um, I'm going to buy Argo next week when it comes out. I'm really hesitant about buying it. I mean, Argo was one of my favorite films. I've been waiting for, for ages. Um, let me just grab something here. Uh, this is my little black book for movies. As you can tell, I'm slowing down and buying my movies. This is a list of movies I'm trying to buy. As you can see, Argo is at the top of the list. Has the price and when it comes out. Um, I've been really wanting to buy Argo um, when it comes out. But now I'm like, uh, I might wait till it goes down in price. Um... I'm going to wait for all of the movies in here to go down to price. The only two I will be buying straight away are The Taken 2 and the Skyfall Steel Books because I, I think they'll go out of print after a while. The rest of them, like Lockout, um, you know, Sapphires, Looper, Mental, all of them, there's a whole list of them. I think I'll wait for them to go down price. But Skyfall and Taken 2, which um, Taken 2 comes out on the 6th of March here in Australia, and Skyfall on the 27th of March. Um, I'll probably buy them straight away within the first couple of days um, or on the first days they come out. But thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the movies I um, bought today. I'm really only buying movies that I really love now. I'm not going out buying random movies that are like, yeah, it's cheap or, yeah, um, you know, I'm just buying it for the hell of it. I'm not going to be doing that anymore like I do with most of the films. Like, I know some of them, like, for instance, I'm looking at my collection now, Hannah, the film Hannah. I didn't need to buy that, but I bought it because I... You know, there's nothing else to watch. But um, I'm, I'll see you guys later. Hope I can see you on my next videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the pickups today. If you liked them, let me know your thoughts on them, if you've seen them. Yeah, um, I'll respond back, um, ask questions, whatever. And I'll see you guys later.